Lila, stop fighting. Oh, you ruined it. You just ruined everything. You fought right in front of Grandmare. Oh, and it looks like Lily's here. Awkward. Yeah. Sorry about that type spot your family's in. Sorrows. Sorrows, Lily. Sorrows. Prayers. Yes, Ava, that's my interior decorating queen. Shine bright, shine far. Don't be shy, be a star girl. Yes, you are rocking it. Hey, y'all. So for this video, I decided to play the new family fortune scenario with the Landry family. Since I'm a huge succession girly and I am so sad that the series is over, but this came at just the right time to play as squabbling siblings that are vying for an inheritance from their lovely grandmère. So we're going to go ahead and move this family into an apartment. Looks like the Lobo family is about to get evicted because I need their place. I want this apartment. <laughs> so I'm going to kick him out right here, but he's fine. He's got another penthouse, so he's okay. Okay, so here we have the scenario details. Three squabbling siblings scheme to get their hands on their grandmother's fortune. However, the family matriarch only plans to award her inheritance to those that prove themselves worthy. Will you compete or cooperate to earn grandma's favor and potentially her millions of simoleons? And the scenario starts off with listing out all of these different family members' dislikes. So uh, clearly they're set up to already not like each other right off the bat. And I have a feeling the growing together dynamics are going to play pretty big into this scenario here. Oh, no. So we have our goals list here of what we have to do. A lot of things optional, but it looks like we have to throw a dinner party First, however, I need to redesign the space because this giant apartment is actually only one bedroom. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, so I am back after doing some remodeling. It is now a four bedroom apartment overlooking the city, something that I think this family would be really into living in. And the first step we're gonna do is try to uh, knock some of these off the list. So we have to have siblings Befriend each other, get through a dinner without fighting, apologize to grandmother, fight, and optional, grandmare can go ahead and donate money away to charity, which would probably anger the siblings very, very much. All right, team, let's get started, and we are going to have Ava get a job. Oh, and it looks like Ramer is deeply disappointed with us. Shocker. She's saying that we've squandered our opportunities and we aren't worthy of her fortune. Well, okay. Well, Ava's going to prove her wrong. So she's going to try to be on grandma's good side. She's not going to try to make things worse. And she's going to go and get herself a job. And I imagine Ava to be a very girl boss, successful designer. So I'm going to give her the interior decorator career because she has taste and her goal is to be fabulously wealthy. And I think that aligns well with her goals. Meanwhile, Lila is a musical genius over here. Oh, Grandmare, I can't help that my siblings are useless. Okay, she's not a saint. She's not going to pretend that she loves her siblings because things don't just turn around that fast. Uh, <laughs> Eddie is a computer whiz over here playing his games. Oh, no, and it looks like Ava and Grandmare are having kind of a confrontational moment, but it looks like it quickly dissipates while she is cooking up some dinner for everyone. <laughs> Oh. All right, let's go ahead and see what Lila's doing with practicing her music here. Ava and Lila have developed a difficult relationship. She was mocking her music, and they are definitely not getting along. Quar. Who are you shoving? Lila, Ava does not take things lying down, so she is definitely going to defend herself here. Oh, we just have to make sure that Grandmare doesn't know that we're fighting. Okay, good. She's over with Eddie. She's distracted. It's fine. We're going to get away with this. And Lila is definitely a meanie. 
We have discovered that. It looks like Ava lost the fight, but that's okay because she's going to win the war. I have a feeling here. And I think for fighting, we definitely do need to apologize to Gren there. Let's go ahead and meet our neighbors, the Fang family. They're always looking so classy. Definitely think these guys would hang out. Maybe they'll be our dinner party guests later. They're chit-chatting and getting to know each other in the hallway, but Ava is off to have a soak in the tub because she is very angry. And something in this scenario that we really need to do is make sure to manage their anger so that they don't, I don't know, die of a heart attack or something. Uh, Jabin. Ah, uh, Boucharb. Ah. Uh, uh. Ooh, girl, you got to work on it with Lila. Here, Grandma, how about you help out the relationship here? Oh, Ava was not receptive to that help at all. I guess we don't get along well enough for that to work. So let's go ahead and end our welcome wagon. And we're going to start our dinner party with the fangs, I think, and get this little goal checked off. Oh. And everyone's going to get dressed up in their dinner party outfits. And we're going to go ahead and cook up some vegetable dumplings because we ain't got no cooking skills. So we're just going to hope that we don't burn down the apartment. And Lila is going to play the piano, set the ambiance for the evening. All right, everyone, time to chow down. We got our veggie dumplings. And this is actually turning out to be quite a lovely evening. Everyone's being pretty well behaved. I'm so proud of you squabbling children, Grand Mercedes. Oh. Oh. Quasaru, Jongi, Charb. <laughs> oh, Snurb. Huh? And Ava is being the chef for the evening and ticking off the boxes in the dinner party. Everything's going great. <gasps> Eddie, Lila, stop fighting. Oh, you ruined it. You just ruined everything. You fought right in front of Grandmare. And now what? Now we have to have another dinner party because you guys can't keep it together for one evening. Just like Grandmare said, she's right about you kids. <laughs> All right, well, that was a bust. Oh, or was it? Oh, it looks like it ticked off. Okay, that's a glitch, but I'll take it. Why not? No more dinner parties. I'm going to go ahead and select a gig for Ava so that she can start working on her career. Meanwhile, Eddie's just playing his games. And Grandmare and Lila are bonding, playing some cards. And Ava is going to wet her whistle a little bit before work. Nothing wrong with having a libation just to loosen up before her first design gig, I don't think. And this is actually the first time I've done the interior decorator career. Okay, we have that they like dancing, they like comedy, they like the color purple. So we're going to go ahead and send them away and do our remodeling real quick here. I messed up these before and after photos. I ended up taking pictures of the completely different untouched spaces that I didn't remodel at all <laughs> for the before photos, but it's fine. I think it turned out fine. We got our little dance floor that's shrunk down with our record player. Got a lot of purple. 
and we put a microphone for comedy because that's all I could think of to do. And they are truly thrilled with this little comedy dancing den that I created for them. Guzzy. Yes, I am amazing. I know. Thank you. Commence awkward sim handshake. Thank you so much. Awesome job, Ava. Ava did amazing. She is well on her way to being the interior decorator extraordinaire that I know that she is. Lila is going to go ahead and finally take some initiative and uh, start her entertainer musician career pursuits um, while she's practicing her piano. And Ava's going to chill out and relax after a long day. Eddie is also relaxing after not really a long day, but a video game day. We're going to have him also take some initiative and start the tech guru career for his aspiration so that he is not a bum just sitting around the house playing video games. Okay, it's time to go ahead and apologize. Let's mend these fences, okay? Oh, huh. Joan uh, oh. Crimbo, uh, Yarb. Uh. Okay, well that didn't work out well. Um, how about we find some common ground? Okay, that was positive. Okay, so we're not completely fighting. Oh, now we are. And we're in a difficult dynamic. Great. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a little bit more challenging than I thought. <laughs> it's a new day. We have Grandma working on her puzzles. Ava is sleeping. Lila is working on her piano. And we're going to have her go help Grandma a little bit. Ava and Lila both have work today. So we're going to tag along with Eddie for the day. Looks like he is down to go to GeekCon. Oh, why is Lily calling? Oh, she wants somewhere to stay. No, we don't have time for that. We only have four beds and we're four people. So no. All right. So we're going to go to GeekCon. And we're going to see if any of Eddie's skills are worth anything at this point that he's been working on in his computer. Oh, oh, and we have some woohoo in space going on. And Eddie is going to go listen in on the woohoo, like the little Roman he is, because he isn't, he doesn't have nothing better to do. Wow. Total invasion of privacy, Eddie. Come on. All right. To work on the hackathon. How about that? See, you have some work on your programming skill. So let's see how you do with that one, eh? Oh, and it looks like Lily's here. Awkward. Yeah. Sorry about that type spot your family's in. Sorrows. Sorrows, Lily. Sorrows. Prayers. Oh, wow. 23%. Well, that's pretty abysmal, Eddie. Okay, let's have you go in the ultimate gaming test now. Let's see if you can shine there, maybe. Wow, you failed? You failed. That's literally all you do, Eddie, is play games and you failed. Oh my God, go home. Stop embarrassing yourself. You are bringing dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. All right, it's okay. It's fine. Let's keep up with this family bonding time with playing cards and puzzles and all that good stuff. This is literally one of the only ways that I know to get them to interact positively pretty consistently with each other. So we're just going to try to have them play cards a whole heck of a lot. And Ava, Ava's at the bar. You know what that means. She's getting her juicing inspiration ready for work. Ava, I'm a little concerned that you're going to work juiced every time at this point. But you know what? If that's what gets the creative juices flowing, go for it. Okay, so our clients like mischief, hates writing, and likes art deco. So we're going to go ahead and redo these spaces. I really had no idea what to do for hating writing, so I just deleted all of the computers. <laughs> You shall not have anything you can write with. 
But I think that the spaces turned out great and they really liked them. So that's all that matters. Ava crushing it again at her job. Yes, Ava, that's my interior decorating queen. I'm seeing her as a little Eve doll, if y'all know what I mean. Shine bright, shine far, don't be shy, be a star girl. Yes, you are rocking it. And despite my best efforts at not having them interact with each other outside of when I am supervising them, they still are getting difficult dynamics and being generally unhappy with each other. But I am seeing improvement, slow and steady improvement. We're going to go help Drenmare with her puzzle yet again in the activity room. Uh -huh. Oh, and there is some new development. Ava and Grandmere are jokesters together. Okay, progress is being made. All right, we think we're going to take Ava and Lila to go do some dancing together to get some more positive bonding time happening. But for some reason, Ava's very angry about this. So we're going to put her to bed, even though she was having a good time, because that's just how it is in this scenario. They just hate being around each other. Makes it a little difficult. So we just have to cool them down and stick them back together to bond some more. And then when they get all amped up again about each other, I just throw them in a mud bath or a cooling soak and let them relax. You know, I'm going to buy a yoga mat too so that they can do some yoga and chill the F out. <laughs> Let's have Lila and Eddie work on their relationship. Well, that didn't go well. All right. Well, it's fine. We're not ready to repair and apologize. Oh, my gosh. This family is so difficult. Eddie, in particular, is extremely difficult. He doesn't like compliments. He doesn't like apologies. He doesn't like anything that most people would construe as nice and thoughtful and heartfelt. So we really have to figure out a different approach with him. Well, let's see what we can do with Ava and Lila. Oh, okay, so the sentiments are all going gray. That means we are close to kicking them. So let's go ahead and keep at it. But at this stage, it's where I'm actually kind of scared to ha try to have them interact with each other because I don't want the sentiments to start turning red again. Eddie is killing me. He literally does not act positively to anything other than when we're playing like at the games table. So... What are we going to do? Go play at the games table. <laughs> Come on. We just need to start liking each other. Help me out here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, Lila and Ava. They're hugging. Oh, finally, they are getting along. It's amazing. And then on top of that, Grandma and Ava have a close dynamic. Okay, Eddie, it's all, you're just the problem now. You're the monkey wrench in the family. You need to get on it with us uh, so that we can all get along, please. Let's go ahead and cook some more together. Let's go ahead and cook a grand breakfast, all the siblings. Gonna go ahead and try the strategy of succession style, the scene where they're in the kitchen making that blender concoction for Kendall because, you know, somehow they just forgot all their squabbling differences in that moment. And it seems to translate to The Sims as well. Cooking together, playing cards together, dancing together, doing general activities together is the way to go with this scenario. Oh, great. And Eddie's having a midlife crisis. I'm sure that will make it much easier to get on his good side. What? Ava and Grimmer are now having a difficult dynamic. They were just close two seconds ago. Y'all are so difficult. I can't. I, I can't. Really. This is just ridiculous. Come on. We have to have the siblings become friends. So I don't care how many puzzles y'all got to make together. But 
This is crunch time. Everyone's taking vacation days. Nobody's going to work. It's just 24-7 family bonding from this point forward. Gora. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Eddie is deeply wounded, so he's going to take a minute, I guess, to get over it. But something that I have discovered with Eddie is that he only responds to jokes and mischief as a goofball. So we're just going to go ahead and do a ton of those interactions. Okay. 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 Deeply wounded is going down. His wound isn't quite so deep. So we're going to go ahead and keep uh, mischiefing with this lad here because he really enjoys pranks. So let's go ahead and buzz him. <laughs> he likes getting buzzed. Definitely enjoys that. <laughs> we got you again, Eddie. Ha, we got you again. Oh, what's that spot? Again. We got him again. He never anticipates it. Room. <laughs> <laughs> uh? <laughs> oh, Bellino. Oh, oh my god, Ava and Eddie have hugged. They have hugged. Let us check. Oh, he's still deeply wounded, but it is all gray, no red. I know the perfect thing to do in this situation. A fart joke. <gasps> he is thrilled by it. And now we're gonna do our apology. <gasps> and he took the apology. Oh, and things are finally fixed between Eddie and Ava. Things are fixed between Lila. But it didn't check off. Oh, and it looks like Ava and Grandma have some unresolved tensions. So we're going to go ahead and go fix that right now. Choose him, Mom. Brink of Vint. Oh, Vina Ifel Im. Ah. Oh, Grandmare is hurt by us. Okay, Grandmare is hurt by us. So let's go ahead and apologize. Everything should be good. We were close not a day ago. So this should be fairly quick here. Yes! Okay. So there you go. We are all patched up. Everyone's in good spirits. But for some reason, the sentiments didn't take off. Everything's good with Eddie. Everything's good with Lila. Everything's good with Grandma. Why isn't it checking off? I did everything. There are no bad sentiments. Are you kidding me? All right. As a completionist, I'm just going to donate the 10000 That was the last optional we had. Okay, everything is checked except the sentiments. So, as we are the happiest family ever and all get along so amazing and have no bad sentiments, uh, the game is glitched and I just wasted my life. So, there's the family fortune scenario. It's a total waste of time. Oh.